Okay, so welcome Maureen. So we're going to do a video just to explain your journey with quantum holographic echo healing, because your journey is an amazing journey, really. You reached out for a session with me years ago when I was kind of honing the skills of the uh, quantum holographic echo healing system. So you had a session and then you came to train as a practitioner to use this with clients and you've been using it with clients. And now you're one of our sub-educators. So now you have the skills to train other people and um, for them to be QHH practitioners. So Maureen Gilder, what's the name of your business? Where So people- it's Maureen Gilder, Natural Therapies and Wellbeing. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So we're just going to look at your journey really, just to see how far you've come with it and the changes it's made in your life. So just give everybody a brief background about, you know, what was happening in your life before, what was it about what I was offering that sparked your interest? Um, I have studied complementary therapies for a long time and worked with energy anyway as a Reiki um, practitioner and trainer, teacher. And I'd come to a point, I was working in an NHS trust, using all of those skills as a complementary therapist, I used to run a wellbeing centre, but that came to an end. I was at a little bit of a crossroads in terms of where I was going and obviously being employed as opposed to being in self-employed. There was lots of, lots of things there, lots of sort of fear and doubt, I think, in my mind in terms of, you know, was I good enough to be able to do this on my own? Um, and I just saw your post promoting quantum sessions and I was just so drawn to it. I was really drawn to it. I don't know why it, I was just pulled towards, you know, and we had that session and it, it just blew my mind really. Uh, all of the things that I work with, because I'm an EFT practitioner as well, I'm a mindfulness teacher. I use um, energy work and, you know, working in the chakras as well. So the quantum, for me, was a perfect blend of, you know, things that I've done anyway. And from that session, that session has just been the catalyst for me, really. Mm -hmm. um, it just, from the very next day, so it highlighted all of the things in that session um, where I was experiencing fear and doubt. Um, and I know in that session you said we all experience fear and doubt, but you know, what was it in particular? And I thought I knew mm. why I was feeling the way I was feeling due to some childhood um, issues. However, it transpired in that session, it was completely the opposite to what I thought it was. It really highlighted it, even down to the timeline, which I just thought was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And from that one session, I felt completely different afterwards. Um, so much so, you know, when we would when we were chatting and we were speaking beforehand, I said, oh, I really want to learn this. This is something I really want to train in. And um, you know, from help from it helping me to identify sort of blocks and you know progressing forward through those blocks and having the confidence then to move on and be myself, be who I am, um, and to work with other people. And it's been fantastic transformation for me and also for my clients yeah because you work with it a lot now don't you yeah. um i would say predominantly what i do now is quantum right in the quantum work yeah yeah and is that because it gets to the the root cause absolutely it's and even clients now go to me oh my word how does it know how does it know it picks out specific you know timelines for people and, you know, I don't know beforehand what, you know, I know a little bit of what the client might want to work on, but I don't know the details of anything. And it's so accurate. It just pinpoints a timeline. It pinpoints the emotions, any core issues and beliefs. Um, and clients are just amazed. That's the that's the beauty of it, isn't it? When, when your client knows, you don't know their history from the no. moment they were born, what, what it was like for mum or dad before they were born what their childhood was like you we don't they don't come with this akashic record open to go well oh, here's every moment um but when you use quantum and it does get to the root cause of what's holding them back in their life right now for them stopping them aligning to their fullest potential and it comes up with a situation an event who it might be associated associated to um that when the age is that that's happening yeah. to them 
And all of this is basically each other's energy field talking to each other. We use the pendulum simply as, as, a, as a focus and a guide but really, you know, we're using the, the quantum soup of energy, setting the intention to connect and to get those answers for the highest good of the client for their healing. And it gives you that information. And then we have the spiritual treatments and the different aftercare to give the client a program to keep working and clearing that energy out of their cellular memory. Um, what's changed me as a result? Because of all of the different aspects, the different elements of quantum. You know, we have the energy connection, do the aura scan, um, chakra scan, then we do the four pillar reading, then we have, you know, it takes us on the journey, doesn't it, the client's journey of their energy field. And by the end of the session, there is a theme all the way through. You know, that theme is there, even what's picked up in the energy scan resonates with what comes out of the chakras. So it all ties in and it is like a little tour, isn't it, of the energy system? Yes, it is. And, you know, it can start off being so random and you think, oh, crikey, what is this? But it's like Picasso, you know, painting a picture could just start throwing, you know, splashes of paint. You think, what the hell is this? But then at the end, there's a there's a picture that's beautifully formed for the client and and you know normally they're having some aha moments through it yeah. even if they don't that's absolutely okay because these could be long forgotten memories or associations to ancestors that's just come through and yeah. unbeknownst to the client it's a cellular memory so it's a subconscious trigger they're not even aware that this is a problem for them so it works on a deep energetic level yeah um what what's the biggest thing do you think that's changed for you as a result or maybe change for your clients even using the system um i think the biggest thing for me is actually doing things like this yeah you know, working on a one-to-one -one basis with clients in your own treatment room is yeah. different than actually put myself out and you know people being visible and, and people seeing who you are and what you do and um, because that was the thing that was holding me back when we had that first session yeah um, that you know oh am I going to be good enough to do this and you know we've got all of those doubts and things going on um, and I can honestly say from from that first session I felt like I had been fired out of a rocket where those those beliefs that I was holding on to I uh, just seemed to just shed and disappear and from that day I took myself put things into pro progress you know planning and organizing I had a whole stream of things that I was going to be doing and workshops and stuff like that and I really felt um just so energized after it really. amazing that's that's yeah. profound um what would what advice would you give other people if they were thinking about training in the system um training with you to come and be a practitioner in this what would you say to them um, you know, some people have approached me already. I did my sub, sub educators training not so long ago. So I've got some people who are wanting to um, do the training. So that's going to be early next year. And I think for anybody, you know, even if, if you're not a therapist as such or a coach or anything like that, even to do it for yourself is amazing because anyone can do this. We can all work in the energy field once we've had the training and we've had the support from you know whoever your sub educator is who's doing the training for you and um, it's something we can all learn it's something we can all do so we can do it for ourselves mm. if you are a therapist um reiki practitioner you work with energy or you're a coach we are involved in you know sort of leading a team of people even you can help them with this by you know sort of working through whatever blocks they have yeah um, doesn't even if you're a sort of team leader or a team manager um you can use this in order to help people to progress and definitely um i'm going to use it on myself uh this morning uh, because i have a situation and i kind of want to see beyond what the you know my ego what my conscious mind is telling me about this situation i want to get beyond that and really see what the energy is behind this situation that i'm facing at the minute um, and the reason I want to do that is it'll show me the truth of what's going on for me. So I'm not going to go into anybody else's energy field without their permission. But what I am going to be able to find out is what is being triggered in me. What is potentially blocking me or sabotaging me um, from 
you know, seeing the truth or experiencing what the potential is of this situation. So, and I'll work on clearing that as well. So when I make a decision about it, I've not made it from an egoic uh, point of view where all my triggers lie and all my memories. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to do it from a place where I've set the intention to, to learn something and heal and move on in the best way for me. And that's what quantum can do for you on a daily basis. When you face these challenges, you know, the, the conscious mind, we're only using a small percentage of, of what's capable. All our responses are subconscious, which means the well habitual patterns of the brain, uh, the belief system of the brain, and we just respond and react to that. So, so we never know if we're in our true alignment unless we can bypass that conscious mind and QHEH allows you to do that. So it's a great clearing system for the self, yeah? Yeah, it is. It's something I use. Um, often, you know, I use it all the time, QHEH, uh, you know, meditation and, you know, all parts of that, you know, trying to um, clear. Yeah. It's what a work in progress, aren't we? We definitely are. Yeah, it doesn't stop. Well, thank you so much. It's been lovely to talk to you. So you are going to continue your journey now as a trainer in QHEH, which means people can find you, they can book a place with you, and you're going to take groups through on Zoom so they get a manual when they when they join so they get sent their QHEH manual yeah. which is full of all how to set up a sequence how to work with a client uh, with the chakras with their core beliefs their needs their issues affirmations EFT is in there uh, everything, yeah everything is in there so we've also got the online platform as well that really helps to support all of the learning that takes place too Yes. So the two-day practical, which is fantastic, isn't it, really? Yes, yeah. And then we've got ongoing support in terms of mentoring. And yeah, and group sessions. Yeah, amazing, Maureen. So we'll put your links for people to find you. Thank you. All right, my Thank love. You. Take care. Bye.